Hello guys, welcome to the series of tutorials on scientific programming with MATLAB. Today we are going to see how a line tracking array sensor or reflectance array sensor works. I'm using a Pololo uh, reflectance sensor, it's a Zumo reflectance sensor for a Zumo robot which I have shown in the previous video. There are six uh, array of uh, reflectance sensor uh, arranged on this board and there are two LEDs provided here and if you can see here there are two uh, sensors sitting there one is uh, IR transmitter one is a photo resistive diode which will receive the signals now let's see the circuit diagram schematic diagram of the Jumo reflectance sensor this is the uh, sch schematic diagram of the Jumo reflectance sensor they are uh, these are IR transmitters and these are the receivers of photo uh, resistive diodes when uh, whenever the light falls on the photo resistive diode it will it will be on and whenever uh, the, there is no light it will be off how uh, we can track the line this is the question we can track the line by uh, by a dark surface normally we use a black tape electrical tape because every color which will uh, every color in this world will reflect some light uh, but the black color it will not reflect the light example a surface on a white paper with a black electrical tape so this black surface will not reflect any light so whenever the sensor is on the black tape or the black surface the uh, the sensors the photo resistive diodes which are on the which are on the black surface will not receive any light and there will have a low state or high state logical and based on the construction based on the circuit so the remaining places it will be uh, light will be absorbed and will get some value and on the black surface will not get any value now let's program this so this is the program to uh, control or to receive the signal from the to receive the signal or values from the reflectance sensor array here i'm initiating arduino uno initially and then I'm initiating uh, the instance of the library file Zumo robot A as I said in the previous sections I'm I have written uh, function to read the values from the sen uh, sensors in a single line function so this is the function where I can read uh, signal 1, signal 2, signal 3, signal 4, signal 5, signal 6 from the sensors and here we can see the whole code how it will work yeah I'll explain by showing the schematic diagram yeah coming to this type of sensor this is not an analog sensor not a digital sensor there's no analog to digital converter and this is not analog sensor so what is this type there is an rc sitting at the on the top of the photo resistive diode this is the uh, capacitance and this is the resistance so how we can calculate this this is a, a new advanced version currently ongoing emerging uh, then adc analog to digital converters or, or analog type sensors because here we are going to calculate how how much the time the capacitor is charging and how much the time capacitor is discharging so we are using example we are using digital pin 4 here as a uh, input to charge the capacitor for a few 
microseconds around 10 microseconds and then we will convert this uh, pin into input mode and we will calculate how much time the capacitor is discharging uh, if we get a signal input signal if we calculate some input signal here it means the capacitor is discharging along the resistance otherwise the capacitor it means the uh, capacitor is discharging around along the photoresistive diode so based <coughs> excuse me based on this concept we are going to calculate the uh, value of the sensor so let's go to the program again whatever i have explained i have just coded here here uh, this is for reading one sensor value i have uh, taken the uh, pin as a digital output mode and then uh, digital pin write one so i'm uh, making it high and charging the capacitor for 10 microseconds again uh, i am making the same pin as an input mode and then i am just uh, calculating the time period here here start time tick and the end time is talk here so this is the logic behind uh, this rc uh, rc type sensor now uh, how to use that uh, function just first we need to initialize the uh, library file and then in while loop we need to calculate uh, six values so i have taken an array of uh, six values s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 and then b dot read reflectance sensor to read all the six values at the same time we need to use this function if we want only one value of an of a sensor then we can uh, use our individual method individual function written here sensor 1 sensor 2 sensor 3 so let's see uh, how uh, we can read the area of sensor values now i'm, I'm displaying the uh, value what i have read i'm just running this and So, now I place the Zumo robot on, on the top of this, uh, everything is, okay, I know the reason because there's no enough light for this, I'm going to provide some light over here. So now we can observe the middle two sensors or three sensors are, are on the black surface and are remaining uh, lost are at the edge. Sensors are not on the black surface so we can observe the values here. The values at the corner are very less and values at the middle are 2500 it means uh, where we get 2500 it means the uh, the sensor area sensor is on the black line i'm just moving the zoom board to the right so we can observe here the last two values are 2500 and remaining are uh, very less and i'm just moving it to right now on uh, on this corner the values are high and here the values are less in this way we can uh, we can uh, program a line following robot the application of this sensor is line following robot so in this way we can use this and i'm going to uh, give you uh, the github link to access this library file and i have uh, provided all the uh, fun codes in the github link thank you for your attention